In the year 2000, Carrie and Miranda and the ladies of Sex in the City turned cupcakes into an American craze. But as Crumb's Bake Shop learned the hard way, our taste for culinary fads can go stale. After years of declining sales, the national chain of cupcake shops abruptly closed all 48 of its stores on Monday, telling employees, this is your last day. You get to go home. Yikes. CBS News contributor and analyst Melody Hobson is in Chicago. Melody, good morning. Good morning, Gail. Listen, I went to the crumbs in my neighborhood on 74th and Amsterdam, 76th and Amsterdam, just to have a moment of silence to say, yes, it is true. <laughs> so what actually went wrong? This is the classic case of the one hit wonder. This is a company that built its entire business on one product. The product was a fad. We have seen this movie before. TCBY, Mrs. Fields, Krispy Kreme. Now in those situations, those companies managed to survive, but much smaller from their peak. A company in the case of Crumbs that basically at the end of the day, by the time they decided to shut the business, their name actually was uh, pretty uh, indicative of how much money they had in the bank, which was very little. Mm -hmm. Melody, do you think this means that the cupcake craze is over, or is this an example where the Crumbs uh, cupcakes, they were just too big if you ask people? I think the craze is over. Mm. This business expanded during a time when, uh, you know, the fat was at its peak. And then you're talking about a business where there are no barriers to entry. There's no intellectual property. There's no special expertise you need. You need a mixer and maybe some okay recipes to start a cupcake company. And so lots of lots of people came in and did just that. And at the same time, our chase, taste change and our, our, our interest in cupcakes has definitely started to wane. Mm -hmm. So there's now, Melody, there, there are crumbs cupcakes in, in some cases selling on eBay for up to $350. dollars actually <laughs> Gail bidding on those, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you want to know. I mean, is there, is there? Gail not, wants the black not, and white cookies. Not true. I is, like yep. the frosted black and white cookie. Yeah, That's right, Nori. Set ones. him straight. Yes. <laughs> is, is, Melody, is, is there any hope for a comeback or it, it's over? <laughs> well, you know, you never know. This is America. Anything is possible. You know, they might go and license their name to a food company and maybe we could go and buy the batter one day. You never, never know. But, you know, I wouldn't pay $350 for a cupcake on eBay. There probably isn't much shelf life there. We saw that with Twinkie, yes. which had a much longer shelf life. Melody Hobson, thank you very much. Melody, could we just say you kind of look like a cupcake this morning? <laughs> That's what I did today. Oh, I, I was going to say, was that deliberate? That was on okay. purpose. Well, well, listen, it's working. Well, first of all, Gail and Melody, if you guys are doing the cupcake, you got to include me on the cupcake. I'm sorry, the polka dot memo. You got to include me on the polka dot memo. Well, it was either <laughs> this or my itsy bitsy tiny weeny bikini, and I figured that would what? not be pretty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I figured well, that would not be pretty in the morning. That's coming up on Friday. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>